Today we are going to review a budget friendly 50 inch QLED 4K TV from a brand name called On. If you don't already know, On is a Walmart's electronic house brand and they have been known for their inexpensive products. So the question is, should you buy a Walmart brand QLED TV and is it any good? Let's find out. First look at the specs. It's a 4K QLED TV, 60Hz panel refresh rate, Dolby Vision, HDR10, 36 local dimming zones, 2 10 watts Dolby Atmos speakers, Wi-Fi, Roku platform, 4 HDMI, 1 HDMI supports ARC and eARC, 1 audio, 1 headphone and 1 USB and 1 Ethernet port. And there's also a voice control remote and TV weighs 20 pounds with stand. So starting the review, let me say that on QLED TV is a very capable 4K TV. The Roku interface is fast and I mean, I did not experience any lag whatsoever. The Roku setup was easy, but you have to log in or register to create a new Roku account in order to initiate the TV setup, which I didn't like. But again, this is my preference. But once you have the Roku setup up and running, it is fast and clean. The menu is simple and there are plenty of options or apps to choose from. The apps load fast and you can browse through them quickly with no lag. Roku also offers free streaming channels. It is called Roku channels and other streaming apps like Apple TV, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and more. You get ton of free channels which is a huge plus in my opinion compare against Google TV etc. But on the negative side you don't get to install the same amount of apps compared with Google TV from the Google App Store. The TV works with Apple AirPlay, Apple HomeKit, Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Now let's talk about the picture quality. The on QLED 4K TV has a great 4K picture quality. I have to say. I'm very impressed with the level of details. The QLED screen is bright and colors look sharp. The 4K content looks really good. There are plenty of picture settings to choose from. In the TV brightness option, you have options like brighter, bright, normal, dark and darker. The default presets are great and the black levels are really good in my opinion. And the slim bezels really improve the TV appearance and sleek look. On is using VA panel and the QLEDs with 36 local dimming zones brings really good picture quality when watching 4K content and supports HDR10. Out of the box, in the color test, TV performs really well and all the colors were very well adjusted and accurate. On did a great job with controlling blooming or stray illumination that can leak into the dark areas. The TV offers great black levels and great contrast which is important for seeing details in dark scenes. Let's move on to the gaming. In the gaming, you can set the panel to game mode which will help the fast response time and variable refresh rate with low latency mode. The games look really good with fast moving objects. You can also use this TV as a 4K PC monitor. The chroma looks really sharp, the text are crystal clear and sharp. So you have to set the TV in the game mode to use as a PC monitor. There is really low input lag so you can move objects around without any problem. When it comes to sound quality, I have to say that I was extremely impressed. The TV has hands down the best sound quality I have seen in this price range. The 210 watt speaker with Dolby Atmos offers deep bass and clear sound. It creates an impressive wide sound with depth of better viewing experience. Let's do the final summary. Overall, the on QLED 4K TV performs extremely good in this review. QLED offers great picture quality, great Roku platform experience, app loads fast and great streaming experience with absolutely no slowing down or lag. The tons of streaming apps, free Roku channels with great content are the big winner. The TV offers low input lag and clear text to make this TV a great QLED 4K PC monitor as well. If you're in the market for QLED 4K TV on a budget, I highly recommend checking out on QLED 4K TVs. Let me know what you guys think of this review in the comments below. Please like and sub to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.